Hi, Kelly. Hey, Jessica. Good to see you again. Good to see you. So, why don't you tell me about your Google Apps implementation plan and what you're thinking of? Well, I have one, um, you know, that we're rolling out Google Apps to our whole district this fall. And people are at different stages of knowledge about the initiative even happening. Some people already have accounts because they're in the pilot group, and then other people don't even know that it's coming or what the world it is. So what I'm concerned about is for those people who haven't heard about it yet and that at the first mention of it will inevitably be super nervous. So I want to plan like how can we introduce the concept and this tool as like in a funny way or something that's going to help reduce their anxiety like in that moment. And who else is involved in the project? Well, I have Scott um, and some other People okay. on the teaching and learning team and then the IS team can help with the messaging too. Okay. okay, and so what have you talked about with your team so far? We've just talked about, we've talked about like the, how are we going to let them know they have an account part. So we have an email written up of like, wow, you have a Google account now and this is your password and it's going to ask you to change it after the first time. So that's like the very basics of you're going to have an account, but for some people, they're going to get that email and be like, I didn't sign up for an account or, or whatever. So we do have sessions scheduled with some of the big programs already. So I guess one thing would be to make sure that at some point, like probably before October, we can get our faces in front of every group or subgroup of staff. So you're thinking about what the, what the barriers are going to be and what the challenges are going to be right from the very beginning. Mm -hmm. And you've, what are some of those? Well, not understanding what, what it is, how it's different from what they're already doing. Or in the case of, especially a lot of the EAs, maybe they don't even do a lot on the computer, so why would they need to pay attention? And they might not need to pay attention. They might not use it because it's all going to be an optional thing, but I just don't want anyone to be like, they're making us do something that we don't want to do. So, so one of the challenges is identifying who's actually even going to need to, to spend time with you on this? Yeah, yeah, that could be. Or how much they need to hear right off the bat. Okay. Yeah. And so some of the ways that you've thought about dealing with rolling this out, just tell me what, what some of your plans are. Well, we do have like one and two hour like rah-rah sessions scheduled mm -hmm. with some, but that's mostly licensed staff. So it's actually, this whole, talking this out is making me think about the EA training day and that mm -hmm. Scott and I could probably use that time to do something tailored. I guess it kind of is more the EAs that I'm worried about. Of how are they going to get a positive message about this? The licensed staff, we, we're kind of good. Like we know the foundational stuff we're going to teach and the examples we're going to give and stuff. But how we can change, twist it for the EAs to make them feel good. So for people that you're not quite sure how much they're going to use it, mm -hmm. or how much knowledge they have, some yes. of the ways to deal with making them feel more comfortable? Yeah. What do you think it might work? Well, I think there's some great, like, kind of funny little videos to show what Google could do. And then just making them at ease, like, it's not something you have to do. But there are those handful of EAs that are actually, they are leaders in technology for the teachers, too. So I don't want to, like, disempower them. Right. So there's, um, I, I want it to be like, wow, I could do this. And, like, we're available to help you. So are there constraints um, that keep you from bringing people together that are, that are at the same place? Or do you have to do it program by program? Or can you do it based on kind of differentiating by, by knowledge, experience, and desire? Oh, no, we could do that potentially. We kind of have some of those people in our mind, and we can go talk to them on an individual basis. Like, hey, you wanted to do this project last year, and now we have Google. Now you can do it. Okay. Like, you have the tool now, and let's work on it. And I've, we've been approached individually by some, some of the EAs, too, to learn, to learn better and get up to speed. So, yeah, I guess we wouldn't have to have it be a blanket thing. Okay. So it sounds like you've anticipated a lot of the problems that you're going to have and challenges. And so what's your biggest worries around planning this implementation? Oh, I think that someone will get the wrong idea of what it is and kind of start to plant uh, the anxiety seed around to other people who haven't had a chance to hear our message firsthand from us. Okay. So that's why I like to get it out there sooner rather than later so there isn't time for any 
small or large group of people to feel like they've been left out or forgotten or okay. expect to do something they're not getting trained in. So ways to do that you're thinking about? I think the big one now that I've talked with you is remembering that we have that whole day of where we will have contact with all the EAs in the district if it's like last year. So we can for sure get out a small message there. Um, we can also, we know the sites where there's going to be a higher expectation from the manager that the licensed staff uses so we can help focus on the, the other staff at those programs. That would be maybe a higher priority. Okay. And we can do some bulletin items and we can talk with Jean too about doing like a booth at the welcome back or some, so, some of those kind of feel good things. I, guess I have a few ideas. Yeah, it sounds like yeah. you've got a lot of good ideas. Yeah. And uh, this helps me to clarify what, which ones to focus on, I think. Yeah. All right. Well, you great. know me. I'm always full of ideas. <laughs> <laughs> well, great. I can't hear, wait to hear how it goes. <laughs>